Hi hobby friends, let's talk about Necrons. There are a million and one ways to speed paint Necrons, and today we're going to make that a million and two. Or maybe not, maybe someone has thought of this one already. Hell, I didn't even come up with the idea. This scheme was hatched by patron and charitable jogger Mechanical Paul, and when he mentioned it on the Discord server, I thought I'd give it a little test drive and see what it was like. So, super simple, funky looking Necrons. I've done something I basically never do as my first step here, and that is base coat in white. We're going to be using fluorescent paints in just a second, and every fluorescent paint you'll find will be really translucent, so to get the full kick, we need a bright white base to build on. Here is that fluoro paint now. I'm using Golden's High Flow Fluorescent Paints. I can't say I've tried every fluorescent paint out there, but of the ones I have tried, these are far and away the best. When that's dry, I throw some gloss varnish on there as well. I'm not interested in the gloss varnish's finish here, rather it's protective capabilities. Fluorescent paints are a bit delicate in my experience, and this extra layer will help us keep that orange intact later. Next up, the secret sauce, chipping medium. Get a good coat of that over the whole mini, and then give it plenty of time to dry. In fact, give every layer in this process a long drying time. The interaction of the chipping medium and the two layers of paint surrounding it is a fairly delicate one, so don't rush. Let stuff cure nice and solid before messing with it, at least 20 minutes or so between layers. Okay, with that layer good and dry, I next went in with a super dark metallic. Mixing inks with metallic paints is a great way to shade them, and here there was no messing around, straight in with the black ink. When that layer is properly, properly dry as well, we can finally start the chipping process. With an old but still soft brush dipped in water, I went about the model gently brushing anywhere I thought a little sci-fi subcutaneous glow needed some exposure. That means particular focus paid to edges and corners, and then some of the open surfaces that looked like they might have taken a ding here and there over the past few hundred million years or so. While I rough up this space skeleton, let me take a second to welcome the latest patron to join our little community, Dion Valesco. Thank you, Dion. May you never have your soul consumed by a wily sun god. If you'd like to join Dion in supporting my little experiments and mini-adventures, check out the links below. There's links to the Patreon campaign, as well as a cool little Discord server, my website where you can inquire about commissions, and last but not least, the like and sub button, which will help other mini warmasters like yourself find this video. Okay, that's basically the effect done. But, of course, we need a little more space magic, I think, so after using some matte varnish to beat back the excess shine from the metallics and ink combo, I grabbed some white Tamiya paint and went to work on the glowy gun. White ink would work just as well here, but I finally jumped on the Tamiya white bandwagon, and with my limited experience so far, I can say I'm pretty impressed. Throw on a little dark green ink around the edges, and then a coat of fluorescent green, a little extra white with the brush, and some other assorted scratches and shadows, and here he is. A super fast, pretty cool looking Necron warrior. I'm happy with these results, but I think there's even more mileage in this idea. How about a two-tone fluorescent layer underneath, or a rustier, battle-damaged look on top? I'd love to hear your ideas and thoughts down below. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.